So let's get into some juicy stuff because you had the pleasure of tour- touring with the beautiful Kelly Rowland. And yes, I said beautiful. Yeah, Kelly's amazing, man. Yeah, I did have this. Uh, the before the you was being modest, yo. you were you were gassing Kelly oh, up earlier, listen, man. Listen, like, listen, hold on, I'm, you that was very, very like okay, low. Hold on, hold on. Like, I, I, you were I'm, gassing I'm, I'm, up I'm, before I'm the show get, started, I'm, man. I, so I you better go and give it a gas. Listen, I'm Team Kelly, right? We know the debate <laughs> is out there, Team Kelly, and I'm and and I'm not just saying Team Kelly for the music, okay? Team Kelly for the beauty, mm-hmm. Team Kelly for everything, <laughs> okay? I think she's prettier than Beyonce. I think she makes better music than Beyonce. I'm Team Kelly all the way. Beehive, I'm here. You come at me. Good luck because I don't got social media like that. So you ain't really going to find me. But you know oh, they what? They're going to find you, though. They're going to find you. If the Beehive find you, comes find me, this no, video's going to I think, I think the Beehive understands, man. I think the Beehive applauds that. I don't think the Beehive under- looks at it like a. There's versus. no real rivalry there. Nah, there's no rivalry. Yeah, they're, 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 they're beautiful sisters. And um, they're both are amazing. They have they're both for queens. Each other. And um, I just had the pleasure to be on tour with Kelly. And I can definitely back up. Um, some of those not the verses acts best, you know, but um, some of the aspects you can say she's an amazing person, she's a beautiful soul, and she's a and she reminds you when she steps on that stage that she's a Grammy award winning uh superstar, you so, know. So, that are was her pretty... shows mellow or are they like is she is she, is nah, she they're, get? they're live, it depends on uh, what type of show you want, you know. So, if you want a long show, uh, hour show, whatnot. You're getting everything in there. You're getting Destiny's Child tracks in there. You know oh, she I mean? does that? Yeah, man. You Without gotta, them, she's doing solo? Of course. Oh, just like that. just like Beyonce does, you know? Okay, they got okay. their little segment where they do the tracks. And you got to remember, she got some hits of, obviously, the joints with Nelly and, you know, some of her uh, album tracks that she does. She has some international tracks. Right, so when right. she So when she goes overseas, she got some big tracks that are, so hold on. That are heavy in London. So hold on. When she does London. the Destiny's Child stuff, it's the other... You, the other verses of the other chicks are playing, and then she goes. Or she uh, no, some, her. sometimes they will just do the hook and right. her verse. You know, obviously you can't just be playing and Beyonce's. Then, like, the transition and is like played out. It's clean. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's clean. It's already it's already pre-produced. Okay, okay, okay. You know, it's the practice. I never figured that to be honest. Yeah, it's all pre-produced. Um, they they perform their parts of the song, and then sometimes the hook and the bridge, you know, and so on to extend. Yeah. So they extend the show that way, and and yeah, so you could she. Does from Bootylicious to um, all of them. Anything she has, anything Nelly, she has oh, records. Okay, in, okay, that's cool. Anything she has record, uh, a verse in or whatnot, she would do the DC part of that, and obviously her tracks. And so choreography you, insane. Or? Yeah, you got dancers in the background. Um, it was. I remember the show that we did in um in Cairns. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful show. The, the, the dancers flew in from England, and um, she wore a dress from. The winner of there was that show that they would wear a dress. Uh, they would make a dress. It was the fashion. I can't remember the name of the show. So somebody help me out. Somebody here. a fashion show. Yeah. So it was a if fashion you know show. It, yeah. Comment here and um and and she wore the dress of the winner at at her show. So, oh wow. So it ended up in the papers in Australia and stuff like that. So it was a big deal. So um she did so it's even small things like humanitarian aspects of that while she's performing yeah you know making money doing her thing right, you right, know right. she also has um these At things the that she's doing business. yeah but but and then, but she's also while she's doing it she's being a, like a humanitarian yeah. at the same time Understood. putting this girl's like outfit on black she could easily wear Chanel Gucci yeah, whatever of course. but she was like no I'm gonna put she's this Team young. Kelly baby I don't know what time it is. <laughs> yeah she put this um she put this beautiful um artist uh outfit on blast and and show love so um and not only that on the downtime you know in her apartment and stuff like that she was just real cool real chill ask about your family and stuff like that and then but then when she got on stage she was fierce man yeah she she killed it so yeah so i was blessed to be on tour with her she got like a routine uh, she goes through she 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 like like you know everybody got like that zone i I don't know I, i i can't say that i've actually been been around her right before a show you right. know like she's in her zone I, i'm already You're on stage yeah. i'm already yeah, yeah i'm already doing uh the pre the pre the preset before she comes out so how she is before this on the scenes i actually can't and say now that this I know. is premeditated the, like how the concert is gonna go it's all yeah, yeah of course yeah it's all premeditated all pre-done um don't get me wrong there's adjustments Okay. Like oh, there's yeah. there's some stuff like she, if she wants to go from track three to track seven. Oh, so she'll give you like a signal. Facts, yo. So what's that Quick, like? Fast like, and like easy. A hand, like a, like a... She'll you know they they turn around with the mic and and she she might say, you know I should oh, do okay, something okay. like that because you can see it's very close. It's like yeah. if you're here, she's like where the where the where the cameras, you know. And so she turned around. You can very and you're paying attention, you know. You're paying yeah, full yeah, attention. Yeah. So um, so you got it's very oh you're yeah. locked in yeah, yeah you got to it's it, it's a job. It's not. I'm playing music for a crowd for them to put right. their hands up in the air. This is 
This is production now. Yeah, this she's, is a different. She's rocking the show. Yeah, this is a different aspect than uh, DJing. This is yeah. making sure that the performer uh, is right because you a volume goes down, it throws them off. You know what I'm saying? Because they're hearing everything that you're playing. So now this, so if she if she does that seven type type situation, right? Is mm-hmm. that basically because she's vibing or she's like, ah, I'm not like it. Could probably it could be like a um. What I feel is gonna come next isn't gonna rock, right. so I'm gonna go straight she, here. She's she, she feeling off the crowd. There you go. That's yeah. artist, just like a DJ. Just like when you're rocking yeah, yeah, a party, yeah. you'd be like, "Yo, I'm playing this reggae right now. I ain't uh, feeling it." A DJ was gonna just as much right, just as much. You could be like, "Yo, I was gonna play these three, four, five songs, yeah. but they're not feeling these first two, so I'm just gonna get out of here." You yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. same same type of energy um, that that a performer does. You know. Yeah. Um, and and you may extend the song. You might have to loop some stuff. You just got to be on on cue when you back there, man. Um, we try to make it as easy as possible. But um, and the tour you went on with her was international. Yeah, that was London, Dubai. So, do you 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 think the international tours are better than the in state ones, the domestic? Because like I, I, okay, so and this is why I say this. this. This is the only reason why I say this. Because when I watch, I've wa- I mean, not, not that I'm big on going to concerts because I'm really not, but um. When I've watched, like, you know, DMX and, like, some certain people have talked about right. when they've performed international, and I've seen, like, the pictures that have that have come out, it feels like it's a whole different, like, type of appreciation. And I've heard some of these guys say that. Do and you, the re- you, you believe yeah, that? I, I, I totally believe And the reason is, is they don't get the acts that often. We may, babe, if you want to see your favorite American artist... You're gonna see them at least once a year while they're hot. You know what I mean? If you get if you especially if you live in a big city and so on. Like if you live in Miami and you're a big fan, let's say Bad Bunny, not right now. Shout out yeah. to the Miami crew. Yo, but you can see Bad Bunny twice a year while yeah. he's hot. And they love you know coming I mean? to Miami. And they love yeah. coming to Miami, whatever the case may be. They don't go international, you know what I'm saying? Because the money's the real money's here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So and the more you can stay on American soil, because not only is you getting paid for your concert, then you get paid for the app part, you get paid for the marketing. It's sometimes different over in 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 over overseas how the how the money runs. But when you get your chance to get over there, they don't see you that often. They yeah. might see you. They, people might see Beyonce while she was hot on a world tour, right? Once every five years, but she's doing a domestic tour. I mean, I might be wrong about those numbers, but she's not going. There yeah, yeah, yeah. every single, you know what I mean? Yeah, especially she now, might go she to England or whatever. But yeah, but like she's not going around the world, Sri Lanka and all on yeah, the yeah, East, yeah, yeah. China and all this stuff all the time. So yeah. when those artists actually touching those cities, it's a big deal yeah. because they don't they don't see them that often, you know. So essentially, we take them a little for granted. It's not that we, I don't think we take it for granted. Not, not, they're just not, hours. Not to the fullest extent, they're just yeah, hours, they're just bro. Hours, like yeah. it's hours. Like they're here. They're homegrown. Yeah, we can see her. We yeah, we can see that's how it goes. We can, oh, she's come. I remember I saw Jay-Z four times in the span of like a year and a half in Miami, yo, because he was on tour with Justin yeah. Timberlake. He came by himself. He came with Kanye. Then he came with Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like, so he can so this I'm so if you you can cat they here all the time. So I'll tell you this: the only concert I regret not going to. And if it ever happens, I, I don't care if they don't come to Miami, mm-hmm. it, but wherever they go, I'll go. Uh, I've already saw Nas in New York, so okay. that was checklist. Check that. Uh, Outcast. Okay. I, I, they don't. It, like, if they ever decide to, to come to, to come to come, to come back, and I, and... I, like I regret that. Like when 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 I could have maybe seen them, it, it, it's like one of those things where like, man, if I wish if they would just do it again, I if they weren't coming to Florida, I don't care where they at, <laughs> I would go. So so touring with Kelly was a great experience. So yeah, it's one of the still it's one of those experiences that set up set up my uh my career right pretty much man because when you're able to do those things at a young because this happened uh when I was about 25 years old so yeah when I'm able to do it and and for a period after that and you forgot it was that your cousin that set this up yeah he was um he happened shout out to Darren my cousin man and, um he was international manager for the for the label. Yep. So he was able to not rock these things. But obviously I was doing my work and I was, you know, putting my you trust. Got recognized. Me, I got a Guyanese family. Ain't nobody yeah, yeah, give yeah. you nothing. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You know, we got an island family. You gotta work for that. Yep. It's like so you gotta be real good. Cause you know, island family puts you in the back, like, hey, don't, don't, don't uh yeah, yeah, yeah. don't don't embarrass me, you yeah. know? Nah, I was definitely uh doing my thing and then he thought it was um and he did and I think it's the right thing to do. Um we as family is how you get put on. Um, you can get put on by networking and somebody knowing you, but if your family knows you can do this, I think it's the 
It's one of the greatest things you can but do. But don't get it twisted. They recognized. Oh, no, no. He definitely, this wasn't a favor. This yeah. is definitely not a favor. Like, Because at the end of the day. Because this is something he can't mess up either. He can't, Yeah, he can't yeah. put me on and then I flop. And, and, then, and it looks and, bad and, on and him. Come yeah. on. You ain't going to put yourself in so that So he already situation. recognized you was ready. Come on, man. Yeah. You ain't going to put your neck out there. Um, for somebody that you don't think is is gonna be ready, and I had to, I, I had to take that and um run with it. So shout out to him. Uh, I tell him all the time, yo, what you what he did for me, definitely um changed my perspective on on, on perspective, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on what a DJ can do and where they can go, you know. So um, like the limits. The li- yeah, yeah, man. The way, way, yeah, what what this thing could do, you know, and yeah. and not thinking that you're just local and and rocking out at local venues is yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is is it? You can actually take this thing international, international, and and touch people. What was your favorite spot? Man. Like like what was your favorite yeah. out of that tour? Where where did you have the most fun? What was the most like vibe you had? Probably VIP room, uh, VIP room in uh in Sandro Pay. Okay, that was pretty fun. That okay. was that was fun, man. I was able to rock out. She was supposed to perform. She didn't. Okay, this was this was pretty funny. So story. you did the show. So I did. So we so this so this was after. A sh- so we did a show in Cannes, and then we had to do a special show for another brand in Sandro Pay. Okay. So, so we so we drove from uh so we drove from Cannes to Sandro Pay. No, I think it's about three hour drive. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. He was in a sprint of sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you was getting that that energy back. You got to get that energy back because Kansas was crazy. Kansas, okay. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas was nuts. And um, so we so we heading back to uh, so we heading to Sandro Pay. Oh, we booking a hotel or whatnot, and um, and then she has to perform at the VIP room. But um, I believe my, I believe my cousin made a, a veto call because he was like, "Yo, go rock out." We're rocking the booth, so I'm here rocking out, jamming, MCing. They had a cool little DJ booth. Um, I wonder if it's the same way you're in the middle and and it, and people are around you just going around. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty dope. So you see the same like you if you if you see your eye on a girl, she'd be hot right now. You put your head down, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, and, she, and she's coming the, the back around. Yeah, the spinning. Oh. I'm not spinning, but there's a dance floor around me. Got it. Got it. That's got it, got spinning it, got around got it, got me. Okay. So <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. it's nuts. So you're like, yo, what's up, man? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so um, so rocking off a little bit. And uh, but before that we was in VIP, you know, getting our drink on, getting a vibe on. And I guess when I was playing, my my cousin decided that uh, Kelly might have had a little bit too much to drink. Oh, okay, okay. And he decided because the stage, if if you know VIP, where they perform is a very small stage. They giving might, you all the bottles. It might be, yeah, nah, but it's a small stage to perform. Like you're performing on the DJ booth, so you pretty much like a box like this big. Okay. And he was like, yo, if you get up there, you might fall and we don't want no, you know what I mean, we want no liability. No she was liability, looking good. No she was in a dope green dress. You know, she was looking, she was, she was looking amazing. Yeah, she's always looking good. You know, Come she on. was, she was I ready. I saw her do like a little TikTok message the other day. I forgot what it was. I was like, <laughs> she still looks good. Y'all yeah, gonna see the video. I'm gonna send them the video so they can put it on the pot. You know, I'm gonna oh, see the pictures. She, she, so she was looking oh amazing, God. man. And, um, and he decided that they're not gonna, he's there. Yeah, you're not performing, yo. So he comes to me while I'm playing. He's like, Yo, uh, we ain't performing, so uh, the, the owner's probably gonna come kick you off. So <laughs> be ready, <laughs> wow. and we gotta get out of here before before it get ugly. You know what I mean? But you was rocking it. No, yeah, we was rocking it. We was killing it. But obviously, we had taken off his DJs that was rocking it to put me on oh. because she was about to perform. You know what I mean? Showing love or whatnot. But um, thought that she was a little bit too intoxicated. And the stage wasn't too big, so you know, man, the asset asset. Yeah, comes first you know so course. he made that he made that decision and um we was out of there i ain't never forget pushing getting all of our entourage pushing it through the uh through the crowd this party's thick by the our way you said is, this was a good time bro this sounds hectic now no no it, no, it was no it was it was the, i'm just saying the i'm all about the experience you right, know what i mean right. I'm all, everything that because when you dj and parties and so on and so forth yeah you have great parties but can you tell a story yo yeah, the yeah, party yeah. was great people had a good time they put yeah. their hands in the air okay that's really what <laughs> you know what i mean that's but really this matters. one was like this is high stakes you know what i mean people are paying you possibly you know what i'm saying bread and um now you have to make a decision and so on and so forth and, and she was supposed to so it's something small and he just was That's like crazy. yeah we're not doing that because yeah. we didn't have at that particular point because we were going to show we didn't have a sound check it's kind of like a club date yeah you know and um so being able to, for, but for me personally you know rocking out at the vip room was pretty was one of the, one of my dope dope experiences so that was one of the dope experiences on the tour yeah yeah london and was dope too L- oh london I, I can imagine <laughs> yeah yeah i can imagine i think you went to france we did we did, uh, we did france cans um dubai uh, back to in a couple spots in London, 
So it's about, like what, three months? Seven, eight. Yeah, seven, eight spots over, no, like six weeks. <laughs> it's, oh, not that, it's not that so it's, it's not that long. Crazy work. Yeah, summer, yeah. summer shit. Summer, no, summer not a lot of rest, I'm sure. Nah, we rested. We had a good time, In man. Because what happened is, what happened is when she's a she's an R and B, she's an R and B uh, artist. So they take care of her. You're not. It's not like this hip hop shit. Yeah. Where it's like you got like buses and they dirty and there's weed and nah. This is uh. You chill. She's at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I'm at the one like running. Now. I remember I stayed at the Sophie. That's Tell, good. That's good though. Hey, it was straight. It was amazing. And nobody complained. You know what I mean? So trust me, the amenities was great. It's beautiful. So you're not. So you're also being treated with that particular type of Grammy love. So yeah, I yeah. appreciate. I appreciated that. Yeah. Because I could. I, I don't know if I could do that hip hop joint, especially at that time, yo. You okay. know, when you slumming it, you gotta get the bags and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, nah, I'm good. 